Guys, welcome to Super Sunday of the FIFA 16 Leicester City Crew Mode. Today is Super Sunday, 20 minute special of FIFA 16 Leicester City Crew Mode. Guys, if you do go on to enjoy today's video and you do want to see Super Sundays continue the 20 minute specials of Crew Mode, go ahead and click that like button right now. Right now, go ahead and click that like button. Drop a comment down below that I could respond to and make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. What an episode I have installed for you guys today today we are going to be playing the teams of Manchester United Chelsea Everton could we get some payback on Swansea City after our Capital One Cup elimination in the last episode? Today is a huge episode, guys. There is so much in today's episode, and you guys will just have to wait and find out what happens in today's episode. So like I did say, go ahead and click that like button. I really need your guys' support. Thank you so much for the support on this series also. Down below in the description, there will be a link to the series playlist, and also in the description will be a link to my Twitter and my Instagram. Instagram, follow me on all social media. We're coming up against Newcastle United at St. James's Park in the first game of this 20 minute special. Newcastle United right now in the Premier League in this crew mode series are actually sitting second. Yes, Chelsea are first. Second is Newcastle United. Who would have thought that going into this Crew Mode series that Newcastle United would be sitting second in the Premier League? Something that is not really realistic as. Newcastle actually fighting to stay out of the relegation zone in real life. You guys can see my Leicester City side for this game is actually a 4 1 2 1 2 formation. Charlie Austin will be starting out front with Jamie Vardy Pereira just behind him. And talking about Charlie Austin, 21st minutes, Charlie Austin with the shot, only to be denied by Tim Krul in goals. But in the early stages of the second half, a ball gets played to Anita as he plays it to Rivier. Rivier plays it back to Perez. And Perez with a great chance there. He should have at least put that one on target for Newcastle United. But fortunately for us, Perez with the shot just goes wide of the goal. You guys did see from that replay just how close that ball was from going into the back of the net. But during the second half, I did make a few changes. Brought on Okasaki. The other change is going to be Drinkwater. And also Kramerich will be starting out front against Okasaki. Not starting out front, but he'll be coming on alongside Okasaki and Drinkwater, he'll be replacing Pereira. As in the 64th minute, Perry is making his one to go yet again just to be denied by Schmeichel this time. What a save from Schmeichel. If you guys did miss the last episode, you guys would know that we are the best defensive side in the Premier League. Yes, we have conceded the least goals in the Premier League in this crew mode series. And that is insane for a team who's sitting around mid-table. As in the 85th minute, yet again, Newcastle with another chance. Newcastle United... Uh, with Papi, Papi Cisse there, just puts his head wide. But Newcastle United were playing like a team who are sitting second in the Premier League. As in the 90th minute, in Inla takes down Wijnaldum, and I actually thought that could have been a penalty. Wijnaldum did get taken down inside the penalty area. I thought the referee was actually going to call for a penalty, resulting in that we go on the attack. It's Drinkwater who is on the ball, crosses it in, trying to find Okasaki. The ball gets punched out by Tim Krul. As the ball does fall to Kurt Zuma, just outside the penalty area. Kurzuma plays it in tight to Okasaki. He goes to take a shot. He gets taken down. And after Newcastle United were denied a penalty, we go down the other way and we do receive a penalty. Taylor does take down Okasaki. And in the 90th minute, in the last kick of the game against Newcastle United, it, we have a chance to win ourselves this game. Who else but Maris to step up and take it? Maris versus Tim Krul. Krul stays is down the middle, Mares goes to the left, and we have picked up the first three points in today's episode against Newcastle United. It's a one-year win against Newcastle, and may have only we may have only scored one goal, but you guys did see what what happened in this game. It, to be honest, Wynald, Wynaldum, sorry, did get taken down inside the penalty area. In my opinion, Newcastle United did deserve a penalty. They did not get that penalty. We went down the other end. We scored. We win this game 1-0 against Newcastle United. As Jamie Vardy does do another training session here, he actually does get an F in two, in his, two of his training sessions. Not too well there from Jamie Vardy. But you guys know that Jamie Vardy will be the player that I will be training for the month of November. But games don't get bigger than this. Like I did say, 
We're going to be having games against Manchester United, Chelsea, Swansea, and Everton. Also in this today's uh, Super Sunday of career mode. But it's Leicester City versus Manchester United at the King Power Stadium. This is a huge game. A huge test for us, to be honest, for my side. You guys can see this is my Leicester City side. Schmeichel, Simpson, Zuma, Huth, Schlopp. Kante, Drinkwater, King, Okasaki, Maris, and Albrighton up front. You guys did see there's a few changes to the lineup. This is the Manchester United side of 4 2 3 on formation. Rooney, Young, Mata, Blind, Schneiderlin. Surprising to see Smalling, Carrick, Rafael Varane also in the substitute, and so is Martial. Wayne Rooney has scored six goals this Premier League season. He's actually sitting second in the Barclays Premier League when he does come to top goal scorers. Let's Let's hope that we can defeat Manchester United. That will be a fantastic victory. We have been doing quite well against big teams in the Premier League. And let's hope that we can keep that up. Schlopp is on the ball in the 12th minute as he plays the Tamares. Mahrez is going to cut inside. Still going Mahrez as he takes a shot. And in the 13th minute, it is Mahrez who has got the goal himself. He received the ball. He cut inside himself. He didn't need anyone to help him out. Mahrez scores. It's Leicester City 1. Manchester United new. After 13 minutes, we take a 1-0 advantage. It's a fantastic goal there from Mahrez, well, Mahrez has started this season so well. You guys can see a few replays. David De Gea almost made the save, but most, but the, the main thing is that we take a one 0 advantage against Manchester United. What what a game this is going to be. Can we hold on? You guys have to wait and find out. As in the 38th minute, Manchester United do go on the attack. Wayne Rooney takes a shot only to be denied by Schmeichel in goals. Schmeichel, yet again, continuing where he have where he has been leaving off in the last episode. And the 74th minute, Kante, who is on the ball, he cuts it inside. Still going Kante. He plays the ball through to all Brighton. Probably should have done a bit better there. He did receive the ball. Sort of lost his momentum going on to goal. But this game was a very tough game. Not too many chances. But when we did have our chance, we scored our chance. It's Raid Mares who does score the goal at full time. It's going to end Leicester City 1. Manchester United nil. What a victory it is for us. Let's hope that this win can turn around our season. And we could pick up a few more victories here in today's episode. Like I did say, we've got a huge game against Swansea, Everton and Chelsea coming up. A 1-0 win against Manchester United. That is a fantastic result. Like I did say, not too many chances in this game. We scored one goal, only having two shots. And both those shots were on target. Manchester United had two shots only having one on target they did just have a bit more of the possession but this was two teams going at it fighting for three points and we did pick up those three points you guys can see that we're sitting fifth at the moment one point behind Manchester United Newcastle United and Arsenal you guys can see second third and fourth are level on 25 points we're on 24 points, and after that win against Manchester United, let's hope that we can continue our good form. As we do another training session here with Jamie Vardy, doing quite well at the moment. As we are heading into December of 2015, and look at this month, Swansea, Chelsea, Everton, Liverpool, and Manchester, Manchester City all in one month. This is going to be a huge month. After this month, to be honest, guys, we will find out if we will be fighting for the top four or if we will be fighting in the mid-table, trying to finish in the top half of the, of the table. So this month is really going to determine where we do finish in the Premier League this season. My aim going into this first season was to, fin was to finish in the top half of the table. We're in December. We're we're sitting fifth and we're fighting for a top four position that would be a insane um, that would be an insane result if we do finish in the top four after this first season I'm starting a 4 2 3 on formation for this game a few changes to the side Kuzuma will be starting as the right back Jamie Vardy will be starting up front as the lone striker Dyer will be facing Swansea City is actually on loan here at Leicester. We're actually the lowest scoring team in the league. You guys know that we're the best defensive side in the league where we have conceded the least goals. And now we've actually scored the least goals. So it is quite interesting when it does come to stats. 
We scored the least and conceded the least, but we're sitting fifth at the moment, and that is all that matters. While I was talking there, you guys would have seen that we're facing Swansea in the next game of today's episode. In the last episode, it was Gomis who actually eliminated us. To be honest, it was Gomis who... who who destroyed us when he did come to that game in the Capital One Cup. We did get eliminated in the Capital One Cup, but talking about Gomis, he put Swansea 1-0 in the lead, and we just cannot contain Gomis. He has scored three goals against us in the space of two games, in the space of today's episode and the last episode. Swansea take a 1-0 lead, and after that win against Manchester United, we cannot be beating Manchester United and then losing to a team like a Swansea in the 32nd minute. We had a chance only to be denied by the Swansea City goalkeeper. And you guys can see that we're trying to hit back, but in the 72nd minute, here goes Swansea on the attack yet again. The cross comes in and it's Gomis who has actually gone to head of that one. Gomis is unstoppable when he does come to chances in the air. Gomis gets his header literally on anything. You guys did see there he was only denied by Schmeichel. In the 80th minute, Kurt Zuma does push up for this attack. Kurt Zuma 1-1 -on -one with the goalkeeper and he's denied. You guys did see there that was the chance. That was our chance to level this game at 1-1 and pick up one point against Swansea City. That ball, the chance did not end up into the back of the net. Resulting in that, we actually lose to Swansea after a 1-0 win against Newcastle, 1-0 win against Manchester United. We suffered defeat to Swansea City. It really, when it does come to those sort of medium teams, when it does come to those, say, mid-table teams in the Premier League, for some reason, I'm struggling against them. But when it comes to those teams like Manchester United, we beat Spurs earlier on in the season. We can defeat those sort of teams. But when it does come to those sort of mid-table teams, I do struggle quite a bit. As Kante will be the player that we will train for the month of December. What a month this is going to be. You guys did see. We're coming up against teams like Swansea, uh, Manchester City, Chelsea, Liverpool, Everton. It is a huge month in this cream mode series. And we will be going through half of December and the next two games of today's episode. The next game of today's episode is going to be one of the biggest games of this season. One we're, we're facing, in my opinion, the best team in the Premier League, or one of the best teams in the Premier League. Y yes, in real life, you can say they're not playing too well, but in FIFA, in career mode, in FIFA 16, they're a very strong side. We're facing Chelsea in the next game of today's episode at the King Power Stadium. Yet again, we did face Manchester United at the King Power Stadium earlier on in today's episode. Now we're Facing Chelsea at the King Power Stadium. This is a huge game against Chelsea. Let's actually see where we're at at the moment in this crew mode series. Yes, we did defeat Man United, but when we face Swansea, we actually lost. So let's actually find out. Can we compete? Can we um, put on a good performance against a team like a Chelsea? Also, I didn't mention that we actually also defeat Arsenal 3-1 at the King Power Stadium. Can we defeat Arsenal, Spurs, Manchester United, and now Chelsea at the King Power Stadium? Is the King Power Stadium a fortress? Let's find out against Chelsea. Diego Costa up front, Pedro in the midfield, Cesc Fabregas also in the midfield. Talking about Pedro, he's on the ball here in the 24th minute. He's going down the wing. Maris is trying to come back. He tries to put in a few challenges. Pedro is still on the ball. Pedro is still going. Plays the ball to Oscars. He goes with a, a back heel shot, you guys can see there. Almost tricking Kurt Zuma and Schmeichel, luckily for us, fortunately for us, Oscar's back heel shot does go wide of the goal. Also, Kurt Zuma facing his old side here, uh, which is obviously Chelsea. But in the 49th minute, we do win the ball back. We play to Pereira. And here we go on the counter-attack. It's Pereira who plays it wide to Jamie Vardy, who looks to cut inside by getting around Gary Cahill. Still going Jamie Vardy, skips over that sliding challenge. Jamie Vardy with the shot. It has gone into the bottom corner. And guys, in the 52nd minute, it's Leicester City 1, Chelsea nil. Jamie Vardy with the goal. And that is actually Jamie Vardy's first goal of this Premier League season. It's taken him all the way till December. I've been patient with him. But finally, Jamie Vardy has scored the goal. It actually nutmegged, I think, Aspilicueta there. Went through the legs of Aspilicueta. Thibaut Courtois couldn't get to that one. 
We lead Chelsea 1-0. It's Leicester City 1, Chelsea 0, and what a goal that is. As in the 60th minute ball gets played to Jamie Vardy, could he get his second? Another fake shot. This time, Jamie Vardy's shot is denied by Courtois. But we had so much confidence going into this game. We are all over Chelsea. As in the 63rd minute, he go Chelsea on the attack as the ball gets played to Willian. He plays it to John Obi Mikel, who plays it to Fabregas, who plays it through to Mikel. He'll go Chelsea. Mikel is on the ball. John Obi Mikel plays it to Diego Costa, and Diego Costa's shot was wasn't the best of chances. He took that shot on his weak foot on the left, and that one did go wide. As in the 89th minute, Jamie Vardy on the ball, he loses it, and Chelsea are going to go on the attack. They are not going to accept a loss to Leicester City. As you guys can see, it's Boateng who is for playing for Chelsea. So yet again, a, a player on top of the Chelsea lineup like a Boateng, Oscar with the shot. Full time, it has ended. Leicester City won. Chelsea nil in the best win of the season. This is going to be the greatest win of this first season in this Leicester City crew mode. We have upset the champions, Chelsea, at home at the King Power Stadium. Jamie Vardy with a great performance. He picked up his first goal for this Premier League season. I've been very patient with him, but he's finally got the goal, and we defeat Chelsea 1-0. What a victory. What an episode it has been. Now that makes it a win against Manchester United, and now win against Chelsea. What an episode. What a super Sunday of the Leicester City crew mode this has been. You guys can see three shots, three on target, one goal. Chelsea, five shots, one on target with no goals. We made our chances count. And also, the other two chances that we did have, uh, they could have been goals also. We're actually sitting fourth at the moment in this career mode. We're sitting fourth. Could we fight for a top four position? That would be insane in this first season. It would exceed my expectations you guys can see Chelsea are actually sitting first and that was Chelsea's first loss of the season we have defeated the undefeated Chelsea in the Super Sunday special of the FIFA 16 Leicester City crew mode that is insane guys as we're heading into the final game of today's episode against Everton at Goodison Park what a performance it was against Chelsea Chelsea only had one shot on target. My, I'm so happy with my team at the moment. With your guys' comments, also in the comment section down below, with your transfer suggestions, this team is just going to get better and better. You guys know I want to do four or five seasons with Leicester City. I want to win the Champions League with Leicester City. And if we keep up performances like that against Chelsea, we'll easily win the Champions Not easily win, but we could win the Champions League. It is possible, I'll tell you what right now guys and the team is only going to get better i'm starting 4-1 4-1-2-1-2 formation for this game against everton and everton are a sort of side like a swansea city and we, when we did face swansea city we did cop a 1-0 defeat as in the 13th minute of this game against everton we didn't really start off the way we wanted it to as seamus coleman picks up a goal there everton went on the attack Lukaku with the shot, the deflection did fall to Seamus Coleman, and he did put Everton 1-0 in the lead. As in the 30th minute, Pereira does receive the ball. It's Pereira who plays it inside to Dyer. He takes a shot, it takes a shot, sorry, and Dyer's shot just goes wide of the goal. What a chance that was for us to level it in this game against Everton at 1-1. What a chance that was for Dyer, but his shot just goes wide of the goal. As in the 48th minute, Everton looked to get on the attack. Romelu Lukaku gets around Huff. Romelu Lukaku still going. Den Denied by Schmeichel, the rebound falls to Dalafeu, and Dalafeu's shot just goes wide of the goal. So Everton weren't done with there after the 1 0. They wanted 2 0. We're going to look to hit back in the 56th minute as Cranridge who receives the ball. He cuts it inside to find Jamie Vardy one on one with Tim Howard, and what a chance that was for us to make it 1 1 and steal a point here against Everton. In the 71st minute, Ross Barkley is on the ball. He pays it, he plays it, sorry, to Leighton Baines. As he plays it to James McCarthy, and James McCarthy makes it Everton 2, Leicester City nil. Everton now with a two goal advantage. And this is a very disappointing way to end off today's 20 minute special of the Leicester City crew mode. We look to hit back in the 80th minute, Cramridge with the shot. And he hits the post. And that really sums up our game against Everton. We had our chances. Our chances didn't go into the back of the net. It's really like a broken record. I always say that. But it really is the truth. But to be honest, Everton, they had more chances than us. They uh, took their chances. In the 83rd minute, it could have easily been Everton 3. Leicester City nil. 
we end off today's 20 minute special with a 2-0 loss to Everton. Quite disappointing to be honest, but let's look at the positives from today's episode, from today's super special of the 5th 16, uh, super Sunday, sorry, of the 5th 16 Leicester City career mode. We kicked off today's episode just picking up a 1-0 win to Newcastle United. We picked up a 1-0 win against Manchester United at the King Power Stadium. We picked up uh, a 1-0 win to Chelsea. Sadly, we did suffer a 1-0 defeat to Swansea City. We couldn't get some payback from last episode's Capital One Cup game. And we suffered 2-0 defeat to Everton. And to sum it up, guys, it's inconsistency. We pick up huge wins. And then we lose against those sort of mid-table sides. But guys, that is how we're going to end off the episode. Like, comment, subscribe, check out the series playlist, and I'll see you all on my next video.